so vitamins and food make you strong so, and so healthy. So you could eat foods also. So this is all the stuff we needed to make pasta. All right, you ready to tell them what's in it? Yeah. Okay, so we make a mac and cheese, ten servings, a good size servings. So. What we need to start off with, and this is going to be in the description, eight ounces of reduced fat uh, sharp cheddar, which can be here. We use this whole bag. Hold on, Lily. Can I talk? Not yet. Let me tell them what's in it, okay? And then I'll let you talk some more. Four ounces of mozzarella, um, 16 ounces of pasta, which I have here. I used an ancient grains pasta, which was in the picture at the beginning. Um, 12 ounces of frozen squash, which I had to thaw out over here. And what's going to be one of the first things we use. And then um, the 32 ounces of cashew milk, so you'll be left over we'll left with a good amount of this too. Um, you'll have half of this left. Here's the ancient grains that we got. And the only reason I chose this is because it was on sale $1.39 a box, because the box is only 12 ounces. So I'll have three quarters of this box left after this. So, um, the stuff that you need is at the grocery store. And Everything that you need is to eat and to drink. Exactly. But most of the time it makes you healthy and big and strong. So the first thing is a slow cooker mac and cheese, I should have said. Makes it really easy, um, convenient, easy to store. So you want to grease up, hold on the lane. You want to grease up a large your crock pot, slow cooker, whatever you want to call it. When you put cooking spray on this, it makes it stick. No. Yes, it does. No, when you put cooking spray on it, it makes it not stick. Cooking spray makes it not stick. The first thing is, we're going to add the squash. The squash will make it, you keep the moisture in, and it'll add volume to the food without adding a ton of calories. So I've been playing with this recipe for a couple weeks now, and Lillian likes this one, so we'll roll with it. And the other thing, as far as seasoning goes, do whatever you like. I like garlic, uh, garlic salt, whatever. I mean, you can even dice up onions or other veggies and put them in there. That's so really a preference. We're gonna need 32 ounces. Cash them up with a little. No, I'll keep it over there. Oh, I like this. Don't, hey, don't put your hands in there. What are you thinking? That's all measured. No, not that one. So there's 20 ounces there to start. We need 12 more ounces. I like this kind of stuff. Thirty-two ounces. Can you mix that, Lily, for me? Yeah. Don't spill it, though. I won't. I can feel the squash. I can see the squash too, Daddy. And now I'm just gonna add what I have on hand. I don't have to spend any more money, but I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. A lot of time. Mix it in, Lily. Onion powder, so I have that in there. And some garlic powder just for good measure. I would normally add a little bit of pepper to this, but Lily, do you like pepper? No. That's why I'm not gonna add yeah. pepper to this. Yeah, because it burns my mouth. Yeah, I know, that's why we won't add it, okay? Okay, okay mix that up. I am. Now, what we'll do, got this bag of cheese. We're gonna throw our pound of pasta in there. Okay. I like this sound it <laughs> Kind of hard and squishy. It is, huh? We can mix it and then we'll add our eight ounces of sharp cheddar. Mix it in, babe. But I'm waiting for you. Go ahead, you can keep mixing. Ugh. And four more ounces of mozzarella. Okay, keep going. You need a little bit of help? No, I got it. You got it? Okay. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Aren't you going to talk? No, just letting you mix. What do you mean mix? Sorry. It's okay. It's not fun unless you make a mess, right? No. Here's what it looks like. 
and that is going to go in the crock pot on low for three hours. Three to four hours, three hours Dad, should be enough. Yes, Lily? Dad, can I press the button? Yeah, you can press the button. I'll plug it in and then you press it, okay? So three hours. We'll come back and see how it Daddy works. Daddy lets me push the buttons all the time. Okay, you want to set it for three hours? Come here. Push up. Oh. There you go, third. All right, so that's what we're about three and a half hours after. Let's see if I can. There it goes. And that's what it looks like. And then I'll show you how to actually get it in serving sizes that you have the nutritional information for. So we're gonna take it. We're gonna get the overall weight of the entire dish itself. I've got a bowl here. And then you're gonna divide that by 10 and that will yield the nutrient profile that I have listed in the description. So I'll do that really quick. And then you'll have a really good idea on how this is all done. You can replicate it yourself and adjust it for um, anything else that you add. Weighed this and our overall yield was 1,965 grams or 70.17 ounces. So each serving would be either 197 grams if you want to be extremely exact or seven ounces. Um, I mean, that's a good amount of uh, mac and cheese. That's almost half a pound. So, and that would kick you 15 grams of protein, 16 grams of protein, uh, 38 carbs, and I believe nine grams of fat per serving, whatever's in the description. So, as easy as that, now you can serve it up, you can weigh it, whatever the case is. You can even like freeze this, it works really well. As long as you have weight heating it, I usually like to add a little bit of salt to it, and then you usually can have a like broccoli as a side or anything else as a side, you can eat squash in there as well. The thing I forgot to mention is adding chicken to it or um, Frank's Red Hot, anything like that, any hot sauce, anything. Um, it works really well. So there's a lot of things that you can add to it. Even broccoli, you don't use anything. So um, use your imagination. There's a lot of things you can do with this dish.